Hello and welcome to 60 Second Facts on Black History Month. Let's get started. Black History Month began as Negro History Week, which was created in 1926 by Carter G. Woodson. It didn't become a month-long celebration until 1976. Jack Johnson became the first African-American man to hold the World Heavyweight Champion boxing title in 1908. He held on to the belt until 1915, when Jess Willard took the title. John Mercer Langston was the first black man to become a lawyer in Ohio when he passed the bar in 1854. And George Washington Carver developed 300 derivative products from peanuts. Among them, cheese, milk, coffee, flour, ink, dyes, plastic, wood stain, soap, linoleum, medicinal oils, and cosmetics. February was chosen as the month to observe black history because it's the birth month of abolitionist and writer Frederick Douglass and President Abraham Lincoln. Because of the widespread interest in black history, during the civil rights movement in the South, some schools incorporated black history into the curriculum, with the hope of starting an intellectual movement that would advance social change. On the other hand, actor Morgan Freeman says a month dedicated to black history is ridiculous. In a 2005 interview on 60 Minutes, Freeman said, and I quote, You're going to relegate my history to a month? I don't want a black history month. Black history is American history. And last but not least, countries around the world, including Canada and the United Kingdom, also devote a month to celebrating black history. Turn up the music, the band has begun. Today is February 2nd and it's a B-Day here at Windsor High and as Black History Month continues, it is also Groundhog Day. Hello, I'm Amanda. And I'm Jake. So did Punks and Twani Phil see his shadow? Phil came out to give his prediction at 7.25 a.m. this morning. Take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, Punks and Twani Phil! <laughs> Up early this morning, far from home. Are you searching for the Philosopher's Stone? Well, even my best friends, they don't know. Is it an early spring or just more snow? <clears throat> my faithful followers, your hands and my paws are getting cold. So here is my forecast, not lead, but solid gold. I see my royal shadow, six more weeks of winter to go. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Productions is, is beginning to create this year's senior montage for graduation at the Bushnell in June. Anyone interested in helping create this year's video must attend a mandatory meeting on Wednesday, February 14th. See Mr. Gooden or Ms. Hunter with any questions. The Leadership Council wants to bring awareness to sickle cell where we will present facts over the rest of the week. Sickle cell is a common genetic blood disorder that causes blood cell to mutate into a crescent moon shape. Today the fact is that there are 3,000 babies born with sickle cell every year in the U.S. Unified Sports Basketball is playing Newington High today at home. 2.45 start time. Please come out and support the unified team. The Lady Warriors basketball team takes, takes on Rocky Hill at home tonight. Come out and support these great athletes as they continue their successful season and make a run for the championship. And now it's time for another edition of Fishbowl Friday. Okay, so I am Allison Beccarelli, also known as Edwards now. Um, I am Principal Sunday's secretarial support. Um, I want to be remembered as somebody who took action, somebody who saw a problem and did something about it, not somebody who sat back and complained about it and watched the world go by. The History Department invites all students and teachers to make Valentine's for the nursing home residents at Kimberly Hall in Windsor. 
The workshop will be held Thursday, February 8th, and after school in A207. All supplies will be furnished. Our next blood drive is scheduled for February 28th in the Rubber Gym. You must be at least 17 years of age to donate on the day of the drive. Mr. Chris's Intro to Healthcare students will be, will be recruiting on Monday during all lunch waves and will also help the American Red Cross to run the drive. Posters have been placed around the school with important information, such as being well hydrated before the drive. See Mr. Chrysis in room D107 with any questions. Just a reminder, students who come to the library during their block three study, hall, must, study halls must attend D-Lunch. Should you choose to spend only a portion of their time here, they may leave for their regularly assigned lunch and then return to study hall. You may not come back to the library. Thanks for following this long-standing policy. The new Science Resource Center is open. The Science Resource Center will be open on B-Days and it is located in the science wing in room E217B. We hope that this will, be, will prove as a useful addition to our students. Still in the community service hours, we have another math tutoring opportunity beginning on February 26th on Mondays. This time we will be tutoring students at Clover Street School. Tutors will receive six hours of community service. Please ask your math teacher or see Mrs. Maines for permission slip. Permission slips are due by Mrs. Maines by today. Remember to check out the televisions in the halls to see more important news and information you need to succeed. Thanks for checking out our show. And remember, if you don't see the news during Block 2, you can follow us on Twitter at WHSWorryTV, where we post every episode and much, much more. Thanks for watching, and that's all for today. Remember, we are respectful. We are responsible. We are proud. We are warriors. Thanks. Thanks. And have, have a, a great, great day. day.